Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well. Hope you're having a great day. And as always, big thank you to everybody that has subscribed. So I'm um, looking to do a reaction now to a group that I have heard of. It's called Making and Mechanics. And uh, indeed, I've heard a couple of tracks from them. I think there was the Living Years and Silent Running. So this is a track that looks like it's taken from the album as the Living Years. It's called Nobody's Perfect. And this was the being out with the album around about the 28th of October 1988, so the late 80s. Um, so I was used to with Mike and the Mechanics, I think it was Paul Carrick, the singer, um, formerly with Ace. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. And But on this vocals, it looks like there's somebody called Paul Young, who by the looks of it was with Sad Cafe. Um, you got Mike Rutherford on guitar and bass, Adrian Lee on synths, um, Peter Van Hook on electric drums and um, drum machine. Um, so it's um, so at least we know that the drums are electric. Um, so that said, this is a. It looks like this is a video of Miami Vice. So I really hope it doesn't get blocked. I don't remember or recall uh, any Mike and the Mechanics songs being featured on Miami Vice, but then back in the day I didn't really get to see every episode because it was a case that if my video recorder didn't record an episode then it was inevitably I would kind of miss that episode, so um, there's quite a lot of episodes of Miami Vice as a result I haven't seen, but I do remember that most episodes had a fantastic um, soundtrack to it and, um, and yeah that's really kind of help build the atmosphere of the episode so it wouldn't surprise me if there is a song uh, like this on uh, a Miami Vice episode so without further ado and again Touchwood I hope this doesn't get blocked because I'm featuring both uh, Miami Vice and this song I will try um, I might have to try and edit it a little bit afterwards but um, either way I'm going to uh, click play and see exactly what this is about so this is Mike and the Mechanics with Nobody's Perfect. So I'm just going to tear it back to start. I am at love, I love the beginning of this. Uh, it kind of feels very discombobulated um, intros. Set you free. Fear must be hard being an angel. When the world has let you down, imperfection all around. Hey, look at me. Well, I mean, this is uh, it's, so far, this is, this is not what I expected actually from my campaigns, but this is such a great intro. I'm just trying to remember the um, character. Um, I think his name was um, Switek. He wasn't one of the main characters, obviously he had Crockett and Tubbs and then you had Switek and Zito, uh, Zito? and then you had uh, Gina and um, I can't think of the other, oh, you had uh, Lieutenant Castillo. Um, I do remember the characters, it was such an iconic show, but I get a feeling that um, just from these opening moments that if this is indeed a, sound, a soundtrack to uh, an episode, then uh, it looks like um, um, Switek isn't his usual self. He looks like he's alone and um, going through some kind of turmoil. And that's fantastic because the beginning of his song, it kind of gives you that um, when you're all kind of like churned up inside kind of feeling when you don't really know which is the right direction to take with a situation or your life and your, your head is pretty much kettled. So. Um, I'm going to apologise, I'm taking that back again because I, I so loved that intro but I was kind of taken, um, and my attention was taken a little bit by the opening uh, um, pictures on this video. When the world 
Some uh, great uh, transitions in this song, and um, it, it's it's what they used to do really, really well back in the eighties with these uh, rock songs that um, you'd have like it would felt quite. There was a lot of uh, music back then, kind of felt quite euphoric, especially these. Um, I wouldn't say it was just hardcore rock, but um, it used to kind of like build and build and build, and uh, and then you have this like great sort of like roaring. Um, uh, musical interlude of guitars and uh, and, and I, you know I do kind of really really miss miss the those days of this kind of music. Some of it feels pretty cheesy now, and uh, but you know because this is the first time I ever heard this, this this has a really it feels really fresh and uh, kind of exciting to me because it gives me like a real nostalgic feel. Plus, obviously, I'm watching a um, I'm watching clips from a show from the mid uh, 80s um, so it's all together it's kind of, kind of making me feel all warm and fuzzy now the actual lyrics are uh, uh, something else they're, they're quite deep uh, the lyrics and I think it's all about I mean f to begin with you had the intro which was like all about your turmoil inside but then I think it's about um, you know the, the decoration that you know we're actually we're all, we're all human and none of us are perfect I, I really love the, the essence of that really because you know I you know, there's people around who um, they don't like to admit they're wrong about anything they like to be critical of others and um, you would assume that you know they are kind of angels on earth if um, they were to be believed but no this is a great video I absolutely love this um, it's just great watching all these old clips uh, from the show um, essentially from the same episode I'm guessing <laughs>
Man, that was good. That was really, really good. Uh, I love that track, and um, it's. I can only assume that it would have. It would have been really um, atmospheric along with uh, the actual episode. If indeed it was to that episode, I'm not sure. It might have just been a fan that felt. Because um, I used to listen to certain music back in the eighties that I used to think, oh, that'd be good if it was on Miami Vice. So maybe someone has just put two things together here. But uh, it does really make me want to go back and watch some uh, Miami Vice now. I do have a box set somewhere. I've never actually quite got around to properly watching them. So um, the lyrics, uh, the, the vocals were, um, if I didn't know, I maybe would have thought it was Paul Carrick. I, I'm not sure I've ever heard Paul Young sing. I mean, obviously there's two Paul Youngs. There's a Paul Young that we had in the eighties who was um, with the Q-Tips um, street band. Um, and he did, he was massive, like, as a solo artist. Um, but this poor young is with Sad Cafe, so I'm trying to think, is that their main, was that their main singer? Um, that I, I can't, I can't think. Um, but I didn't recognise his voice except for the fact that it sounded a lot like Paul Carrick. And, um, yeah, it was great. I loved, I loved the, I loved the build, build up of this. I, I really love a kind of slow start to um, tracks like this, where it just kind of like gets you in that mood. It sets sets the um, emotional motion, um, get, you know, and, and and you can just imagine that if if this, I mean, just judging by the pictures, if this was about um, um, Swiatek, then it was he looked a little bit rough, a little bit unshaven. Um, he didn't look his usual kind of like on the ball self. I think um, in the show he was always like the, te the tech man, the one with um, Zito who was rigging up um, the bugging devices and stuff like that. Um, so it, it seems like he's out on his own, he's in trouble, he's confused, he's in turmoil. And this is a perfect record for that. So I'm just going to jump straight into the lyrics. Um, it must be hard being an angel. When a devil in your heart won't set you free. It must be hard being an angel when the world has let you down in perfection all around. I think um, I think we've all got a devil within us. I think um, we've all got the capabilities of self-sabotage. It doesn't matter what we do. And there's always that little devil that tries to screw things up for us. And um, sometimes, you know, he gets to win. And sometimes we manage to just keep him under wraps. I think uh, ultimately the, the secret in 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 living life is sometimes you have to learn to um, live with the devil. Um, I think if you try to always push that devil down, it just comes back stronger. But you can learn to li live with the devil. Let the devil see the good, the good part of you, and uh, and sometimes by allowing the devil to live within you, um, you can you suddenly wake up one day and realize that. You know, the devil just got bored and left. That's the way I look at life. And um, I've spent a lot of time trying to fight the demons within me about certain things. And, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm kind of reaching a point where I'm happier with allowing all these different elements to stay within, within inside my head. Um, nobody's perfect all of the time. Nobody's perfect. We are what we are. There's no perfect reason and no perfect rhyme for most of the time that's what we're looking for so this is again it's about being hard on yourself you're looking for you know perfect reason perfect rhyme in life and um, you know that's what we look for when we can't find it uh, we sometimes um, fall off a cliff um, and it, we sometimes get a bit frustrated and despondent I think with trying to build that perfect life around us uh, um, uh, and we don't we don't always factor in the things that can go wrong that can like um, take us right back to square one. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, please, can you please support the notion of what I'm saying here? So it feels like, cause like, and I think it was a drum roll when that was going on. It kind of like felt like a formal address, a formal declaration of of your thoughts. Um, you know, almost like a, a prelude to a, quite a cathartic moment where. Um, you're ready to um, make a stand. Uh, that the person here in question must be an angel here on earth. If they can't see a human being, for what are human beings really worth? 
a little bit of sarcasm there because I felt that, you know, does people out there, as I've said halfway through that, assume that air of perfection. Um, they never admit they're wrong. They never um, show the, the emotion of, uh, of, um, of being confused about um, decisions they've made or things they've said. Um, and it doesn't mean that they, they're not, they don't have a turmoil inside. It's just that they give that air of perfection, almost like an angelic air of perfection. Um, usually coupled with um, sort of a subjective criticism of others. And um, it's like saying, you know, you know, gentlemen, please, can you support the, um, the idea of what I'm, you know, what I'm saying is that, you know, the people here aren't as, as perfect as they like to think they are. And they can't, because they're trying to act that way, they can't see a human being, can't, they can't see other people for what they really are. Um, they can't accept, you know, the imperfections. Um, yeah, this is a great, great track. I'm really, really glad I, I reacted to this. Um, to one of those I'm probably ha gonna have to find and download. I'm still old school, I don't stream. I like to, to download. I might even um, look to get the, um, I might even buy the CD. I think sometimes when you buy CDs, you can also always get the downloads with them. And uh, this would be a, a great one, I think, because I, although I heard The Living Years, I kind of found it quite depressing. And um, I would love to actually kind of get um, to see what else was on this album now that I've heard this, which is, I'm pretty sure, from this album. So um, please join me in the comments below if you have any thoughts and feelings about this track. And um, till next time, have a great week and I'll speak to you all soon.